What up, people? You guys have been asking for a video of the S2000. Here's the thing. If you follow me on YouTube, or if, I mean, if you subscribe to me on YouTube, then there should be no reason why you don't follow me on Instagram unless you don't have an Instagram. But my Instagram name is the same as my YouTube name. It's Hummy Hit VTech, no spaces. So follow me on Instagram and you will get the, you know, because I take pictures and I post them from my phone. So that's like getting updates in real time. But S2000, uh, it's almost ready to go to be welded at least. The firewall is in place. And I must say, it fits pretty good. But let me flip that camera. All right, so the firewall is in place right now. Just set in place. The fit is pretty, pretty good. And the way I cut it, if you peep my Instagram, you'll see, you can kind of see, I cut it like right up, up this way, this way, up and over, through the center. You see the light shining through on that side, that way, down, this way, and then it runs along the side. But, uh, yeah, she's almost ready to go to be welded. Um, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have my buddy Ray weld it for me. He's got a, a good welder. And we're gonna be using, we're gonna be using this. This is you, Paul weld through primer it is a copper it has copper in it which is weird because if you weld, weld can't weld to copper but i guess it's got i don't know i guess uh it probably increases conductivity of the weld but um yeah you can use this on the back side and, the, and uh in between the when you're welding like I would spray it here and like in there and on the back side of the new panel that I'm welding because if you just left it raw like that if you just left it you know bare metal like that and you weld it it's gonna fucking rust trust me I know because I didn't use any weld through primer on the Integra even though it's not rusty now because there's primer over it when I first did it all these welds fucking rusted out. Not much I can do about it. But um, this time around with the S2K, we're taking all necessary precautions. Anything that's bare metal that has to sit in between a panel or like two panels have to be uh, matted together is gonna have weld through primer on it. I'm not playing that with this car at all. So here's the firewall. Like, this shit is literally like, I can take it right out. Let me show you. Yeah, this shit comes right out. Boom. I need to take it out anyways. Oh shit. <clears throat> Alright, with the firewall out, you can see this shit wide open. I got the dash bar. Uh, right there running across damn that, that's not hard that's hard to do but yeah um let's take a look at how i cut the inside of the s2000 body to accommodate the right hand drive firewall all right so we're inside the car right now here's the dash bar bolted to support you know the sides of the car but as you can see with the firewall out i cut the left hand drive firewall kind of like symmetrical to the um, right hand drive firewall you can actually see you can see uh, the marker where I cut it like where you mark it you're gonna want to cut it above where you mark it just to give you some uh, that, that gives you like room to uh, like grind that down if you need to to make it fit better here's the thing if you cut too much off you can't put the metal back so I would rather cut it a little short and have it not fit right off the bat 
and then make adjustments. You know, you can use, you can make adjustments with uh, like a Dremel or something, or if you've got a cut off wheel or something, or like a prep tool. And yeah, that's how it is. And as you can see, these welds are all ground down. There used to be like welds there, but they're, I ground them down flat and these spots are gonna be sprayed with the weld through primer and shit's gonna be legit. Take a look over here where the top part sits. All the welds are ground down. Yeah, so that's how the car looks with no firewall. But it's gonna have one by the weekend, hopefully. I got some uh, clamps there to uh, you know clamp the body down. I like that deep one right there. It's really gonna get into the tight spots. Um, yeah. All right, so now we're looking at the front side of the right-hand drive firewall. And as you can see, all the welds or the you know the holes are ground down, prepped, and uh, cleaned up nicely. There's no like nothing hanging up. It's all perfectly flat, ready to go. You can see some old welds ground down. So yeah, that's looking good. You know, it's ready to go, prepped. And uh, we just got to weld it. So today's Thursday. I got to work on Saturday. That's why I got a day off today. And uh, hopefully I can get Ray to weld it Sunday. I'm going to ask him today. And uh, we can get the ball moving. And uh, get this car done. All right, so real quick, I just want to show you guys this tool that I use. It belongs to my uh, friend Larry. It is a Matco uh, prep tool and it runs on a battery. And it's nice. It has this like roll lock top or attachment. It, it can take these little disc. See, they thread in. You can get the more abrasive disc. And this is what I use. I use these this disc to prep all all my metal to get that you know get it all cleaned up because you know you don't want you want a good connection for the weld and you want it to you want it to grab so this is what I use so that's that tool I use this to prep the metal basically and then I use the harder disc. I use these harder discs to like ground down metal, like to ground down the really big welds. Use that, and uh, yeah, battery operated. So that's a really nice thing. Saves me a lot of time versus using anything else. And it's small. It's compact. It's super small, so it fits everywhere. I love this thing. So basically, uh, what I got going on today is. Uh, just gonna pr pretty much finish finish up some more uh, prep work. I went to the Harbor Freight Tools and I got a wire wheel. Like, so I'm gonna clean up any um, stuff that I left behind. Uh, seam sealer on the firewall, and um, that's what I'm really gonna do. Pretty much, just get it prepped to get it perfect, get a nice fit, get everything ready. So when Ray comes to weld it, he can just come and he doesn't have to worry about anything. I just gotta mock it up, clamp it down, have him weld it, and we'll be ready to go. So it'll be, hopefully it'll, it won't be an all day thing, but uh, yeah, that's my update. Um, maybe uh, I should record an Integra video, right? I should do an Integra video. That's my S2000 update. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. I need more followers, no, I'm just kidding. But. If you want real-time updates, if you want stuff, even stuff that is not related to my cars, if you just want to see what I post, just follow me on Instagram. Hummy hit VTech. No spaces. Peace.